Hello everybody and welcome to Doing Stuff and Things. Now on this adventure, I'm gonna show you three amazing beaches on the east side of Kauai that almost nobody goes to. Well, except for one, which is the most family friendly. Let's go. Number one on our list is Papa'a, and it is by far the least visited. It's not a secret, it's on the map, and there are literal signs that say beach access this way. Off Papa'a Road, down some very unassuming roads through farmland. When you get to the end of the road, the primary parking lot is there on the right, and it does accommodate quite a few cars. There's a short walk from the parking lot down to the beach. If you go straight, it'll take you right to a swimming hole. But if you want to see the beach proper, take a right right here, and that's what we're going to do. This is Papa'a Beach. Go ahead and kick your sandals off right here. Now don't let that calm water right out front of you fool you. That is not swimming. It's only ankle deep. It's basically a giant rock shelf that you can walk across and step on sea urchins. There's a great beach walk towards Anahola if you want to follow the beach to the right. But if you're like me and you want to get in the water and play around, you're going to want to take a left right here. This is my little swimming hole. Granted, it's checkerboarded with rocks, but it does the job. The sand is soft and it's calm. The outer reef keeps the big waves out. So this is just a great spot to play around. If you have snorkel gear with you, there is some fairly decent snorkeling to be had. Just make sure you stay inside the reef and be sure the currents are not messy that day. Also, there's some pretty good lobster fishing around the area too. And I have full videos on the channel for all of these locations if you want more of an in-depth look. As a reminder, if you do decide to go snorkeling here, be sure to stay inside the reef and make sure the currents are not ripping too strong that day. This is Papa'a. Now we go to number two, Moloa'a. This is Moloa'a on a perfect day. But let's be honest, this is Kauai, so it rains all the time. It's the garden island after all. And as with all of the smaller, more remote beaches, they are located down very unassuming roads through residential and farmlands. Just be confident, follow the map, and it'll take you right there. There's very limited parking here and it is residential, so be respectful. Follow the road that becomes a path. Follow the sign that says to beach. And you are at Moloa. It is a perfect half moon bay go to the right or to the left, there's a little stream that dumps right into the center of it, and it's really just an amazing place. And, rumor has it, this is where Gilligan's Island was filmed. We're gonna go to the left. Now there's a gentle little stream that does dump right into the bay, so this is a great spot if you're kind of timid of the ocean but you still want to splash around or perhaps have little kids. Just be sure, if the fresh water is brown, don't ever get in it. Now there is a peculiar thing about the currents here at Moloa'a. For example, it keeps the fresh water stirred around in the bay, which makes the visibility on the top layer of water pretty hazy for snorkeling. And it also dumps in some of the trash from the Pacific Garbage Patch, which is super tragic, but it is a fact of life. But if you brought your snorkel gear, there is fish to see, and it is surprisingly deep. So this would be for more of an advanced to moderate snorkeler. There's turtles in the area, there's tons of caves, but it's not as good of snorkeling as you might expect. Not nearly as much fish as I would expect to see in a remote beach like this. As I said, the water is hazy on the top layer. And that Pacific garbage patch, it just plays havoc with this bay. So you will see a debris field. But if you dive down in some specific areas, there is some good fish to see. Just be sure you're a very good swimmer because it does dump out right into the open ocean. This is Moloa'a. Now we go to number three, Kalihiwai. Kalihiwai is probably the most visited of the three beaches on this list. And there's two entrances. 
Here we're standing on the bluffs on the north entrance, right next to Anini Beach. This is a great place to go if Anini is crowded, which it frequently is. And this north access will take you down to the river mouth, which we'll see in just a moment. But for now, we're going to go down to the south entrance. This is the south entrance parking, and there is a lot of room for a lot of cars. A lot of people can fit on this beach without it feeling crowded, and this is really a family favorite, because there's also a very gentle stream that dumps into the bay. Now this bay does have surfing, bodyboarding, and playing in the river for stand-up paddleboarding or kayaking if you want to go farther up the river. This is the parking lot on the north side for the river access. It only holds a few cars, it's a much smaller parking lot, but it's also an easy walk from the main parking lot over here. One of my favorite things I like to do at Kalihiwai is this little rope swing, but be warned, it's very shallow, so no headfirst diving. Marvel at the trees, the thousand shades of green, the big beautiful banyan tree, and find a stick, because you're going to need a long stick to grab that rope swing for your swinging. This is Kalihiwai, a great family-friendly beach, and with much more of a Hawaiian feel than more of the touristy areas. Strongly recommend these three on this list if you're looking for a more private and intimate experience in Kauai. Oh. Uh.